Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, it's the world of Wayne. Special day today because we had a delivery of Agit Park Works, Build the Terminator, Issue 2. Now before I get into this, if you're a subscriber to this, you get a free gift today, look! You get a wallet and inside the wallet you have got some screwdrivers. So you've got four Phillips head screwdrivers in different sizes and you've also got some tweezers. And that's all in a zip tie wallet. How cool is that? Now I was getting this from the news agents, but when I saw the free gifts, I thought, you know what, I need to subscribe to this. If you want to subscribe to this yourself, if you look down the bottom of the screen here, just there, you'll see uh, the link to that. You can go over, it's not too late, and subscribe to yourself. Uh, pick what issue number you want to start from and uh, you're away with us. Remember, this is 120 issues. So in the magazine, always take inventory of what we got here. And make sure that you've got those in your, uh, in your delivery. Uh, you, we have got the teeth in this one. We're gonna be doing the right arm and the teeth. The teeth I have already cut off the sprue, just so you know. And uh, when I cut them off the sprue, I used my trusty sprue cutter, which is available through my Amazon store at bit.ly forward slash world Wayne, and just click on the Modeler's Emporium tab and you'll see them on there. It enables you to cut them with a nice straight edge. Uh, but what we're going to be doing, we're going to be, uh, we've got this bit, let me show you this bit first, which is also part of the right arm, but we're not going to be using this at all. Uh, this is going to be going over to the other side. There's one of those pieces we're not using. But we are going to be attaching the jaw to the LED section that uh, fits on the head. We're going to be putting the teeth in. I know there's been some discussion about the teeth, we'll talk about that later. Uh, and then we're just going to be doing a little bit towards, uh, again, the right arm. Um, it does show us what's coming in the next issue. There you go, and you see we've got a battery pack and a little tester board and some more pieces. So uh, my favorite part of the time to say, let's get cracking. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna need is just the uh, jaw piece like this. And just to let you know, this is plastic. This isn't metal. So I know a lot of you have been shining these little bad boys up. And uh, I did have a go at it myself. As you can see, I've got a couple here. Uh, the reason I'm not gonna do that is because I don't want discoloration between the pieces that are coming and the uh, the actual metal from my other pieces. Uh, and I think the big danger for that is you'll have uh, different panels looking different colors. So I'll do that at the end and see what that looks like. But obviously you do what you do. Um, I know some people have polished them too much and got to a copper shine. So I don't know how that works. I think you went a bit low. Uh, but there you go. That's that. Um, first, uh, the other thing. Oh, big, big important thing. We've got three different kinds of screws here, but the screws aren't labeled, but they do describe the screws. So I've got a picture up on the screen here. You've got the six mil PB ones, which have got the rounded heads. You've got the six mil KB ones, which have got the flat heads. And then you've got the four mil, which uh, you can't miss them big time. So uh, it's probably time to get a pillbox to keep these stored in. So we take the drawer piece and just so you know, this is plastic. So it doesn't mirror the uh, the metal of the actual front of that. Uh, and as you can see at the top here, we've got a screw hole, two screw holes, and we've got a lug that we can actually line this up. And then all we're going to do is we're just going to seat this in here just like that and hold it into place because we're going to be putting two screws in here. And the screws that we're going to be putting on the bottom here are PB ones, which are the round ones. They're like the, uh, they're like the six mil ones looking just like that. So as you can see, we've got the two holes at the bottom there. We're going to put them in first. Here's the first one going in. I'm hoping you've got an angle of that so you can see. They go in really easily, to be honest with you. Nice and tight. We'll put another one in now. You are going to be left with spare screws. But uh, to be honest with you, it's up to you if you keep them. I'm sure they're going to provide the screws that you're going to need for each issue, and they're going to be ample. But uh, there you go. Now's the time to start labelling them up. <laughs> okay once they're in nice and tight we've got that attached to that we've got two more screws that we need to put in now and this is where the four mil ones come from if we just turn it around like that see we've got a screw hole here and here and that's going to be where we're going to be putting the four mil so we get those in now this is a nice simple issue this one so put that in and this is going to keep that whole jaw section in place nice and sturdy and tight with no wobble that's why We've got four screws holding this section down. So that's this one going in as well. And once we've done that, it looks just like that. Now we're gonna be putting the teeth in. Now they've lined up the teeth like this in this photo. So follow that because you don't wanna be putting them in wrong. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is I've got my teeth already lined up and we're gonna start putting them in with glue and they're gonna be going around this base bit here. So uh, they can only really go in one way, but if you find that you've got gaps between the teeth and stuff like that, chances are the teeth you put in, you've actually put in the wrong way. They probably need to go in the other way. 
okay? But bear that in mind when you're putting them in. So line them up exactly the way that they've got to go and we'll get these glued in now. Now I'm using the old fashioned uh, way of I squeeze some glue onto a big plastic tub there and then I use a cocktail stick to put these in with. Now the glue I use, I buy from the range. It's a very good glue. Um, I use it because it's vacuum sealed and it costs one pound. So I'm just gonna put some glue. That's the first one in there. Load this up again. Put that in there and then we'll get the first tooth in. So that's just gonna go in like that. Looks just like that, the first one. There you go, let's get the second one in. And the third one, this time I've actually, uh, <laughs> I dipped it in the glue. Because I don't want these falling out, ever. <laughs> We can't be having a terminator with false teeth, can we? And then last but not least, we'll just put the fourth one in. All I'm doing is dabbing the top of the studs into the uh the glue there rather than use the uh oops. Rather than use the cocktail stick. Because as I said, I really don't want these things coming out. So that looks really good. Look at that. And there's the teeth there. Now I know this is a moment of contention about the teeth. And I know a lot of you are going to be tempted to weather these. And uh, yeah, you can weather those. I can't see why not. I mean, they are quite good shapes. It's not going to take a lot to make these look good, to be honest with you. And I think that was the main contention in the last video I did that people were concerned about the teeth. But when you see the size of them in person, they're not too bad. They're not bad at all. So that is the teeth in. Looking really good. I do like that. That looks excellent. Uh, unfortunately, we don't do anything more with this. But what I will do is I will put the front bit on just so you get an idea of what that's going to look like with the mask on. There we go. Looking just like that. <laughs> that's excellent. I love that. Uh, all we're going to do now is we've got these two pieces here, which is part of the right arm. And we're going to be attaching these together. And all we've got to do is make sure when we turn this around, you're going to see a little indent like that there. Okay, and we're going to see the same thing on this side here, just there. And all we've got to do is put these together so that they match, just like that. And then if you look underneath it, we've got two screw holes, and then that's going to be for the other 6mm screws we had, the KB ones, with the flat heads. So I've got one here. I'm just going to load up my screwdriver. We'll get that in and start screwing that in now. There we go, and that's the first one in nice and tight and then we put the second one in it's going to go at the bottom there once again screw that one in so that's it for this issue so just to review we've got this part of the arm piece which we're not using in this issue we've got we've done the other piece of the arm piece this is the right arm piece looking just like that this bit's plastic this bit's metal and then last but not least, we did the uh, jaw and we attached the teeth to the jaw as well. So that was a really good issue, wasn't it? That was issue two. Uh, as I said, issue three, we've got a battery pack and a tester board. That's going to be coming. Um, but I really enjoyed that. So uh, we'll tune in again next week. I have actually subscribed to the news agents, but I've changed it now because I wanted all those free gifts. So chances are it's meant to come out next week, but I'm guessing we're going to wait a few weeks now and we'll get a batch coming through in the post and end up doing them all together. So uh, I hope you like that video. If you want to discuss this video at all, at the end of this video, you'll see a link to the forums and there's like-minded people in the community that you can talk about discuss those teeth and let me know what you're doing on there because i'm always on there anyway anyway hope you like that video take care